welcome back. Well, I went Sunday morning and picked up my Azure Standard order. And how that works is if a truck comes through your area, you choose a drop area where the truck will come and you have a half hour window to go and pick up your order. And you don't have to pay for shipping, which is a really good deal. But it's once a month and ours is on Sunday morning at 8.30 in town. So I had to get up really early to take care of animals, mine and a neighbor's, and then drive into town and get back in time for church. But it's worth it to me because of the things that I can get at the price I can get. And they are organic, which sometimes you pay a little more and sometimes it doesn't really work out to be that much more. So it's worth it to me and for me and my family. So I thought I'd share with you some of the stuff that I got and just let you see the variety of things that they have. Now I did get a big bag of powdered laundry detergent because I don't have time to make it. And when it, you count the cost of the coconut oil that I use, it's very pricey along with the lye and the other ingredients. So I've been buying little packages of laundry detergent that's just unscented. It doesn't have all the stuff in it. And it's been costing a fortune. This big bag was $67 for 50 pounds. So it's gonna save me time and I won't need to make my own detergent for a while because I honestly haven't had time between work and my garden and my church and other things that I do. So that, that's what I did there. But they have so many different things. I bought this bag of one pound of freeze-dried peas and I love these because when I buy frozen peas, every time I go in to get them, they're freezer burned, which is a waste. These things I would snack on, they're that good. But also they rehydrate so well that I can use them in a recipe and it doesn't take long at all. So I'm gonna try and find prices for you on my order because there were, I had a number of things. But the freeze-dried peas, one pound, I got three of those for $42.60. So somewhere down here, I should have two more packages. And I can put these in canning jars and vacuum seal them. And I got the oxygen absorbers for quart jars and for pint jars so that I can put them in there and they're gonna keep them totally fresh. I put them away and these, these are gonna last a very, very, very long time. Besides, like I said, I'll snack on them. They taste good. So I also bought some tapioca granules and I bought these because I have rhubarb and I've been getting rhubarb from friends and I've been making crumbles and different things with them. And they, they call for tapioca, like in a pie filling. And that just gives it a little bit of thickener. And all of their stuff is organic, it's non-GMO. And I don't know if this would be GMO anyway, but this is a 30 ounce bag. And it was, I have to find it. $8.45 for 30 ounces. Now, usually you get the little box and it's nowhere near that size. Okay, also I got some food grade citric acid. This is non-GMO. We use this in a number of things. Sometimes you're using it in canning. Sometimes Brian needs it in his beer making. And there's been times I've used it in my bath and body products, especially when you're making bath bombs. And most of them are not non-GMO. 
So I bought one pound of food grade citric acid. And that was $4.30. Now I don't know about you, but have you seen it in the little jars that Ball puts out? It's a little plastic jar. I think it cost as much or more than that, and it's not a pound. So I thought this was a good deal for $4.30 for one pound of non-GMO citric acid. So that to me was a very good deal. And then I bought some of these reusable cotton bags because I'm growing herbs that I'm going to be using sometimes for teas and other things. So you can, and I can also use these in my cheese making, but you can infuse flavors in herbs into to the, your cheese. You can infuse them in teas, whatever you're doing, and you just have these little cotton bags to do it in. So these, for $2.34 for three bags that are three inches by five inches. So those I wanna keep on hand. Then I bought a DVD about bread for life. And this sounds a lot like a sourdough starter, but they say it's different. So I want to check this out and learn more about it because you're baking yeast-free bread with microbes. So I wanna, I wanna find out what exactly this Bread for Life starter is. And it's supposedly you can make your own or you can buy it from them, but I wanna find out about it first. So I got that and my cat just climbed in that box. He loves boxes. If, if he fits, he sits, always. So, See what's in this one. This one just was shipped in a little paper bag, and they try and use they use reuse a lot of boxes. So you'll get a box that was for beer or something else, and that's what your order comes in. So this is potato starch, unmodified, and sometimes you can use this as a thickener. And yeah, you can make your own. I never have. So I bought this, and this is Bob's Red Mill. And this one was $4.60, and it's 22 ounces. So I don't think any of these are bad prices, and I know the quality that they have. The one thing that's uh, sometimes disappointing, although it's just how they work, is if you place your order and they're out of something, you don't get charged until it's shipped and you won't be charged for the, that item. So there were a couple of items that I ordered that did not ship, but I didn't get charged for them either. And I can go on and immediately reorder. So next time, if they have it, it will ship, or I can ask for it to be shipped to me. Although if it's not by truck, then you do pay shipping. So Sunday mornings it is. So I just thought I'd share this with you and let you see some of these things. There's such a variety of things that as your standard, you can get canned goods, frozen goods, fresh vegetables. You can, I think, get meats. You can bath and body, herbal supplements, animal care, baking, all kinds of baking. Um, there's just so many different things. So I love that company. I I look forward to when I'm gonna go get my order because it's like a surprise when you open your box. Because <laughs> usually I have to order several days in advance in order for them to pick it, get it on the truck and ship it here from Oregon. So by then I've already moved on to the next thing and I don't always remember everything I ordered. So I, I open it and it's like, oh boy, look at what I got. So anyway, I hope 
you enjoyed this. I hope you get some ideas of maybe why you might want to order from Azure Standard, and I have a link below, so if you're interested. But thank you for watching. God bless, and we'll talk again soon. Mm -hmm.